Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel today. Thanks to your vote, we are reviewing How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Directed by Ron Howard and starring Jim Carrey. Or if you're going off my autocorrect, Jim Carrot is apparently in this movie. Before we go any further though, if you could be a very Christmassy dear, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well. It really does mean a lot to me, it helps the channel massively and we thank you if you do. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is based on the famous children's Dr. Seuss books, telling the infamous story of Whoville and the Grinch who hates Christmas. Jumping straight into the movie, I love the set design and the costume department to this movie. I feel like they really did bring Dr. Seuss's work to life. It is a little bit jarring, it is a little strange. I remember as a kid, it kind of scared me in that uncanny valley. I probably shouldn't admit to that on the internet, but it did. It was just things you don't recognise that approach you incorrectly, if you know what I mean. Whereas now I'm older, I see it for what it is. It is a film that is genuinely trying to do what the source material says, and I have a huge appreciation for that. It has such a personality and it feels real. It feels like if you were to visit Whoville, you could navigate your way through the streets of the place. You would maybe realize there's a post office on the left there and the banks around the corner. I have nothing but credit for that. I imagine that took a lot of hard work, a lot of designing, a lot of paperwork and drawings, and I really appreciate it. I think it truly does show in the film that a lot of effort was put in there. I'm not going to flag the really obvious plot holes with this movie because it is a kid's movie, it's based off a kid's book, these sort of projects and material, they don't, they are gonna have huge gaping plot holes that make no sense whatsoever. Like, why, why is the Grinch green? Like, why? Is there actually a reason? Why is he different to other Who's? Is he a, is he a Who or is he is he not a Who? I don't know. And frankly, I don't care. The Grinch for me kind of works like the Joker. This guy is incredible, but as soon as you hear his backstory and what made him insane, it's very sort of surface level and you've heard it all before. What works about characters like these is the mystery. At least in my opinion anyway. I prefer not knowing why the Grinch hates Christmas. I like him for who he is and just experiencing him and his personality. So there doesn't seem to be much point to me to flag these plot holes. They are scattered throughout the movie, but it just seems such a waste of time and intellect to, to try and take that seriously, so don't worry about that. I actually think the performances in this movie are really underrated because everyone is working with some form of prosthetic or other. A few moments later. Two hours later. Even the Who's have some sort of prosthetic around their nose and maybe even on their top lip to give them that sort of mousy look around their mouth. As soon as you put a prosthetic layer on an actor, it, it means they have to accentuate everything because they have to make the plastic move as much as the rest of them is. It's very difficult to do. And I think everyone handles it really well. I think it's a little bit of a marriage made out of love here. The costume department really helped the actors with their prosthetic and I think the actors really made the prosthetics work. I think it's a great blend. But of course how can I talk about performances without discussing the main man himself? This is the Jim Carrey show. Jim Carrey is on fire in this movie. I know there have been so many stories about the fact that he hated the costume, how irritable it was, how heavy it was, how itchy it was, how just uh, I imagine it must have been horrific to wear that for endless hours a day and yet you would never know that looking at the final product. He looks like he is having the time of his life in this movie. <laughs> Psycho. <laughs> it's the same situation with the Who's having to work with prosthetics, only here he is fully 
prosthetic and therefore everything has to be accentuated, harder, faster, louder, punchier. Everything has to be up to 11 for this to work and he absolutely delivers it. I imagine he must have been going to bed at night and just conking out and <laughs> like 12 hours straight because this performance feels exhausting. It's brilliant. It's not exhausting to watch. It's exhausting in the sense of imagining someone having to actually do this. That's where it feels exhausting. And I have nothing but credit and praise to the guy for doing it. The movie was a lot funnier than I remember as well. When I was a kid, I don't remember laughing that much. I remember there being the odd sort of, hey, that's funny, that's cute, ha ha ha. But watching it as an adult, I ate so many of the jokes must have just gone straight over me as a kid because there are a lot of adult-based jokes in this movie that I just didn't recognize. <laughs> hey, honey, our baby's here. He looks just like your boss. Another aspect to this movie that I appreciated on a whole new level as an adult was the Grinch is really relatable. Like I was watching this movie and realizing many of the things the Grinch is saying are things that I have definitely said out loud to other people, or even just to myself. On such short notice, even if I wanted to go, my schedule wouldn't allow it. Max, grab a bag. Welcome back to the ref. Of course, when I say we, I mean you. Four o'clock, wallow in self-pity. 4.30, stare into the abyss. Five o'clock, solve world hunger. Tell no one. 5.30, jazzercise. 6.30, dinner with me. I can't cancel that again. 7 o'clock, wrestle with myself, loathing. I'm booked. Oh. Ah. Mmm. That's it, I'm not going. Yeah, the relatability factor here, at least for me, was exceptionally high, and I don't know if that's a good thing. Maybe I need to be getting out a bit more, I don't know. It's not just joke after joke after joke after joke, though. There is a personality to his humour. He finds joy in misery, quite literally, and it shows in his style of humour and the things that he says and the way he thinks, and it's so cleverly done when you consider that this is a kid's film, that this isn't really meant to be that deep, this is meant to be a bit of fun. I think he's actually a very complete character, the Grinch. He really is, and I totally understood him here, and I love that. Although I am going to blame Dr. Seuss and movies like this for very silly childhood accidents. There's a moment in the movie where the Grinch is stealing Christmas, and he decides to basically just get a giant hoover and just suck everything up in the room, like the Christmas tree, the cat, the presents, everything. And it, like, the, the machine doesn't break, it just sucks it up and goes in. It's that sort of logic that led to a seven-year-old Elliot thinking that he could take a giant fish tank and tip it into a sink, and that isn't going to end in smashed glass and water everywhere dripping through the floorboards. True story. Missed the adult jokes, but definitely picked up on the logic. <laughs> Sounds about right. I'm going to give How the Grinch Stole Christmas an 8 out of 10. It's weird, it's wacky, but it's full of life. It has a really good message that for once I don't think gets lost or becomes pretentious. It is a film where by the end of it you will feel good. Jim Carrey's performance is just enigmatic. It's iconic. It's if anybody else was to ever do a live action Grinch, there should be riots because it, it's Jim Carrey. It's just Jim Carrey. I don't want to see anybody else do it. Yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch can do the animated one, but it's not the same, is it? It's just voice acting. For an actual physical performance, it's Jim Carrey or just don't do it, <laughs> in my opinion. It's a hugely embraceable film that you can't help but feel good and enjoy, get a little bit nostalgic over. It's a perfect watch for Christmas this year. Thank you for watching this review. Please be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button as well. And please leave a comment. What did you think of How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Do you like it more than me or do you perhaps like it less than me? Let me know in the comment section below. Take care. I look forward to seeing you on the next review. And of course, happy Thanksgiving, happy Hanukkah, happy Christmas, whichever one it is for you. Enjoy yourself, take care, and let's have fun this Christmas.